गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू सो वेलकम टू द अनदर क्लास ऑन रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग सो व्हाट इज रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग एक्चुअली सो रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग इज द फ्रॉम 3D मॉडल टू द फिजिकल ऑब्जेक्ट विद अ क्लिक ओके सो व्हाई व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग बिकॉज़ यू आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वन प्रोटोटाइप प्रोटो व्हाट इज व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय प्रोटोटाइप प्रोटोटाइप मींस यू आर कॉपीइंग समथिंग so from a uh, uh, object you are copying that object okay so it is actually applicable for if you are uh, copying any precious object which has only one piece and it is more valuable if you want to copy that so uh, initially you have to take that design of that um, original object then you can copy that uh, very rapidly with the help of rapid prototyping techniques there are different uh, techniques are there in the rapid prototyping so you can easily copy from that so it is also applicable in the different industry that i will discuss in the later so what is 3d uh, what is 3d model so you know uh, any object who who has three dimensional uh, dimensions like length width and width so this is called 3d object okay so the part is produced by printing so so the part is produced by printing okay by, by layer by layer uh, manner so it is uh, so you know the conventional machining method conventional machining method is nothing but the top down approach so from one cylindrical bar you are uh, slicing some uh, object which is not uh, it is not uh, uh, actually used okay so you are actually abstracting this element from the object so this is called top down approach are here uh, actually if we have this type of object so initially we will start from the bottom okay and we will slice this part with a, some layer thickness and we will slice and from the bottom to top we will uh, total manufacture the item so this is the main things from uh, <clears throat> this is the difference between the uh, general manufacturing and the rapid prototyping te te techniques <clears throat> so now the part is produced by printing so if you are uh, depositing one by one layer and it is if it is fused together simultaneously or in situ then one part is produced very rapidly okay so the variety of technology exist employing different physical principle working on the different materials and the object is manufactured in its final shape with no need of subtractive processing so you know <clears throat> in a conventional machining methods after the machining method some secondary finishing operations is needed but here uh, you can achieve any kind of um, final shape product okay no further machining or uh, finishing operation is not needed because high uh, surface finish can be achieved so what is additive manufacturing now uh, additive manufacturing and the rapid typing is actually the similar kind of things uh, only the difference in between the scalability okay so it is actually used in the um, batch production and it is in it is used for the very very precise production additive manufacturing this is nothing but the difference so uh, actually in sort you can say what is c is what you build okay this is called the additive manufacturing process or short am okay additive manufacturing refers the process by which digital 3d design data is used to build up component in layers by depositing materials so if you are using metallic uh, material any kind of metals depositing in the substrate okay so you can uh, get very uh, high surface finish metallic components which is not possible to any other means is very much time consuming for any uh, conventional machining method like turning milling drilling shaping this is very time consuming and much more uh, uh, materials is uh, excess or uh, wastage so i will discuss this type of things in also later so this is the actually why additive manufacturing is the next frontier next frontier means it is actually the emerging technology why it is called like that emerging technology why it is next frontier because just you look is look into this two figures okay so i am actually my uh, goal is to produce this type of uh, shape okay if i uh, want to make this type of shape by subtractive manufacturing you can say easily 
that 5000 pound okay from billet actually we, if we want to manufacture this type of shape it is actually buy to fly is 20 is to 1 what is my mean by buy to fly buy to fly means what you get and what you have wastage so this is the chips and these chips cannot be used further that's why it is wastage so from 5000 pound of billet 4750 pound is wastage and you will get this type of products the only 250 pound finish machine part but here if you want to make this type of product by subtractive uh, so by additive manufacturing process this is a subtractive manufacturing subtractive manufacturing means the conventional machining method that you have already uh, know that some turning milling or this type of cnc operation is also one kind of subtractive manufacturing process because it is also top down manufacturing process some form some billet you are manufacturing some uh, you are making some shape okay but additive manufacturing actually this type of products you can easily make with 200 pound rolled sheet and with 75 of pound wire and with some techniques that is called ebf3 this is nothing but electron beam freeform fabrication and this is developed by nasa with the larc so this type of fabrication techniques, if we use, this is one uh, examples of the additive manufacturing techniques, you can only 25 pounds of chips you will produce and the, you will get this type of products easily with 2 is to 1 by 2 fly ratio. Okay, 25 only, just you can compare 4750 pounds chips and here only 25 will be. So if you manufacture any costly material, so this is the only option with you that you can uh, only you can manufacture some items with the additive manufacturing process because the wastage is very much less and here subtractive manufacturing process wastage is very much high so if the product or uh, the cost of the material is so high you cannot make this type of product in the uh, Subtractive manufacturing process. This is one thing. Another thing is the Holar's report from 2011. Now this has already been uh, increased actually. Direct production contribution of the rapid prototyping today is 16%. Now it is around 25%. Okay. So you can easily uh, compare with others uh, um, techniques that tooling components, metal casting patterns, tooling patterns heat and assembly all the things uh, you can uh, rapid prototyping techniques the contribution is so much high okay now additive versus subtractive manufacturing that you have already understood that and subtractive manufacturing means from uh, top to bottom you are manufacturing so if you have one billet materials now unwanted material you will cut from any any means or conventional means by turning milling or this type of methods and you are uh, achieving some kinds of uh, shape this is the shape, uh, final shape. But here, uh, the substrate add additive manufacturing means by layer by layer depositing some materials in the substrate. So what is substrate? Substrate is the on where you are depositing the molten material. Okay, and simultaneously it is fusing and simultaneously you are depositing the material on the substrate. So uh, finally you will, uh, so this is the substrate and uh, you are depositing some materials layer by layer thickness and you will finally you will achieve this type of things and this is the subtractive manufacturing process so actually subtractive manufacturing process is also more time consuming than the additive manufacturing process now you can easily understood that uh, this type of shape it's, this is very simple shape cup type of thing so how you will manufacture this these things in the subtractive manufacturing process this is very simple type of things and it is uh, produced uh, mass actually it is produced in the mass production okay lots of uh, cups are produced in a day so uh, now you if you will take so much time to produce this type of shape this is uh, this is not economical okay so now you will just think about additive manufacturing and subtractive manufacturing to uh, make this type of product you can easily say that uh, what is the problem in subtractive manufacturing process here Okay, the sharp internal features cannot be machined without the tool radius. So these type of features in a subtractive manufacturing process, you can say the turning and milling, it is very much difficult, but it is very much easier to manufacture in the additive manufacturing process because here you are depositing some material layer by layer fashion and it is fused. 
simultaneously you are depositing and somewhere it is fused where when you are depositing here the this type of um, material already built and it is a uh, making uh, the finally this is the shape you want to make and here if anything is there which is, has some um, hanging position some support is needed for the 3d printing or any kind of additive manufacturing process this type of support you will remove after the machining operation or uh, additive manufacturing operation now this is the uh, generic uh, uh, additive manufacturing process so these are the process involved initially you have to have some cad model with you then from the cad model the, you have to convert that cad model to the stl conversion or stl format only the actually in the any kind of additive manufacturing process from cad model to the uh, slicing only the stl file can be uh, incorporated or it will be understood only the dot stl file like dot jpg dot pdf dot doc it is one kind of extension of a file that is dot stl so on any kind of advanced uh, additive manufacturing process dot stl file is needed so from the cad uh, model you have to convert that to the stl and then a file a, this file the stl file is to convert to the machine or you can say the machine control unit that is mcu and it will again the machine control unit will uh, move the axis by its desired or uh, x axis y axis and z axis how much is the desired it will the machine control unit automatically uh, take that one then as the, from the bottom the manufacturing object is built then you have to remove some excess material that i have already told if this type of cup shape you want to make so this is the hanging position so initially you have to give some support otherwise this this you cannot make from the when you are depositing here which is uh, above some distance from the bottom layer then these type of things will not deposited it will fall and by the gravity so that's why this type of support is needed so they, that's why uh, post process is also necessary to remove this type of support and it, this has lot of applications okay so this is the in at a glance this is the uh, additive manufacturing process these are the steps involved now from the cad model into the dot uh, stl format so this is actually what does it mean the dot stl format is nothing but it is slicing the model as well as it is making the model in the vertex or with some coordinate point you will look that in some triangular nodes are produced with the stl format and layer by layer so it will be dependent on what type of materials we are depositing what is the fusion rate what is the uh, the accuracy we need that's why uh, with this actually we uh, will take the layer thickness what will be our layer thickness so we have to specify it before uh, part will be produced okay what will be the layer thickness in each layer that type of material that thickness of material will be produced and uh, this is the thing that dot hdl format will, will do then it's a generic am process that i have already discussed effects of building using different layer thickness so you i have already told that depending on the what type of material you are using what will be the your accuracy level so on the de depending on those uh, the, the layer thickness you have to decide so what will be the difference between various am techniques so uh, on the basis of the techniques used for the creating layers you can easily classify the different am techniques techniques bonding of the layer together how the bonding of the layer it is um, actually bonding together uh, on the basis of that you can easily classify the am techniques then the speed layer thickness range of materials it's a lot of range of materials are there then accuracy and the cost these are the uh, various am techniques the difference between various am techniques so these are the uh, actually the different industry so you can see easily so uh, at my additive manufacturing is are uh, using it's a emerging process front linear process and it is actually used in the not only aerospace dental jewelry automotive tool mold making industry electronics industry armaments that is the actually uh, again defense industry actually especially food furniture implants you have already said that uh, some kinds of uh, complex products are uh, necessary for the implants because every human beings has different types of 
um, shape and size of their bones. So if you want to manufacture that, you have to have some CAD model, which is easily you can uh, from the um, MRI, you can easily get that CAD model. From that, you can easily convert the steel format and easily manufacture the uh, this type of product. Uh, which is suitable for you only, which will not suited for any other person. So surgical devices, textile, prosthesis, orthosis, actually this type of prosthesis is very much used nowadays in the medical industries. So this type of things is easily manufactured by the ad, uh, additive manufacturing process. Toy industry is very much, the, I, I think 80-85% toy industry are based on this additive manufacturing process because they are actually using uh, some plastic kind of material or ABS plastic kind of material. So this is easily manufactured by the advanced manufacturing process because the melting point is very much low. So no other, uh, because in the uh, additive manufacturing process, a uh, lots of problems will be involved um, in the, in when you are depositing. So tool nose, tool nozzle, where the, this type of uh, melting model will be deposited. It should be ceramic. Okay, so these type of things you have to have in mind, but if any kind of plastic material, if you want to manufacture, there will be no headache or in a, there will be no such constraint in the uh, design um, perspective. So these type of things, you uh, there are a lot of actually industrial applications are there for the uh, this type of uh, additive manufacturing process. And uh, obviously there are some pros and cons of that additive manufacturing process. What are the pros? You have already understood the pros. Uh, the freedom to design innovate without penalties rapid in uh, rapid iterations through design permutations excellent for mass customization you can easily manufacture any kind of product thousands of product uh, with one uh, click actually estimation of tooling green manufacturing minimal material waste energy efficient enables personalized manufacturing these are the major pros and what will be the cons what will be the disadvantages unexpected pre and post processing requirements some kind of product that i have already told you some kind of cup products actually it's needed post processing because it has some support is needed so these type of things will be their high process cost so initially if you want to make one product so if it is not produced mass production then it is not economical because of the high initial cost lack of industrial standards so if you want to manufacture it at your own it will not be fit in the uh, what is the industry standard if you not follow the industry standard this is another disadvantage so low speed not low speed where it is low speed actually if you are depositing some metal instead of plastic or instead of any kind of uh, uh, low melting temperature materials then the speed of additive manufacturing is very much low. So not suitable for mass production is actually then incons inconsistent material, limited numbers of materials and high equipment cost for high end manufacturing. These are the disadvantages. So these are the benefits. I have already told the traditional design and the, an optimized design, or you can say that uh, the any kind of complex shape, any you can man manufacture. And this is the again the some uh, benefits of complexity to free design. So this is the cost uh, versus complexity. You can easily manufacture. Then additional cost will be in, involved if the complexity is increased. If the complexity is increased, yeah, the cost will increase. Okay, it is actually uh, the thing. So you have to keep in mind. So this is also another benefit that uh, in this is implants. In the implants, any kind of head or any kind of tooth. So these type of things is very much useful. Uh, the additive manufacturing process or customized medical products is easily you can um, make with this thing. Okay, with this, I want to conclude this uh, class. Thank you.